facets to the question. On one side, um, you will have desires that won't match another person's desires. And, and if that occurs, and the other person is pestering you to have the same desire, that is your law of attraction. So let's say there's two people, so again there's two people here, one, yourself, you're feeling afraid of sex toys, he's wanting sex toys. Can you see that perhaps he's wanting sex toys because you're afraid of them? Can you see that might be the law of attraction? Uh, you're afraid of anal sex, he wants it. Can you see that maybe he wants it because you're afraid of it? Can you see that it might again be your law of attraction? I, I'm not so much afraid or I don't feel like I'm afraid. I feel like um, that it's not a natural thing for me to do. I don't feel that it's natural. Okay, yep. yeah. And um, it's a good question though. Like, um, I can't, my personal feelings are, I can't answer that as to whether it's natural or not. Like, why would, why would we have a problem with any part of our body being touched? Like, with regard to if we're receiving or giving love, why would there, like, you, do you have the same problem with your breast being touched? Or do you have the same problem with your underarm being touched? Because that's not a sexual place either, or, well, that's what it feels. So there's obviously, there must be some kind of fear associated with it as well. I just feel like, um, you know, I'm at a certain stage in my... Can I, can I ask you, has it ever happened? No. Okay, so how do you know that you don't like it? I feel like I've come to a point, yep. um, and I have done for a while, where I feel quite satisfied with my sex life, and I don't feel like I need to explore that further, and that's what I feel that those... That's why he's projecting this at you. Because the truth is that there is some deep fears in you about your sex life. That's why you're satisfied with it being as it is currently. What will happen if you're on the divine path is your sex life will grow as your soul expands. So you will have, you all of you have as a prospect before you that your sex life and your intensity of sexual relationship will continue to grow, 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 because your soul is going to continue to grow, 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 because as you receive divine love, it transforms your soul in all these different areas, including in the sexual area. You follow me? So if you're satisfied to be in a place without growth, that in itself is an emotional injury. So you need to look deeply at what would be the underlying reasons. And for many people, it's an issue of vulnerability and openness, and I feel that for yourself, it's about being fully open and vulnerable to a male, in particular. You've heard that song uh, by Bruce Springsteen called Secret Garden? How many of you have heard that song? He talks about, um, she'll let you into her 
uh, house. She will let you into her, whatever he mentions. I, I, I'm not the poet. <laughs> and so, and then he says, but into her, se into her secret garden, don't think twice. In other words, for many women, and many men, by the way, it's not just a women thing, we don't let the opposite gender into our secret garden, the place which is where we are. Right? And it's, it's the process of opening up enough emotionally to do that that's going to cause us also to have a stronger and stronger desire for a sexually intimate relationship greater than what we have. So bear in mind that I'm not saying do these things. I am saying look at your fear about them and the fact that you have never done them but are, are not wanting to and, don't, and the fact that he's actually asking you to is your law of attraction to deal with some sexual issues. So allow yourself to be confronted with these sexual issues but make sure it's in a loving environment. So if he's going to abuse you with sex toys and you're not feeling comfortable and you're not allowed to experience your emotions, then that's not right either. Allow yourself to go through the process emotionally. Does that make sense? As does he need to. He needs to look at why does he want you to do something that you don't want to do. He needs to look at that too. He needs to look at that emotionally. But if we're just dealing with your law of attraction, this is your law of attraction, allow it to trigger whatever emotions are inside of you. Does that make sense? Let yourself deal with them. So, let yourself deal with these particular things you're afraid of. At some point, you will not be afraid of anything, including a sex toy. Right? You may, that may not mean that you use it, but you're just not afraid of it. It doesn't stress you out. It doesn't, you don't have any feelings about it in any way. It's not something that you would, you know, would be afraid of trying, for example. Do you follow me? Now, personally, I don't feel drawn to trying a sex toy myself. That's my personal feelings. But the question I've got to ask myself, is it because I'm afraid? Because as soon as I'm afraid, then I'm not harmonious with love, and I need to start looking at that seriously. I've actually thought that maybe there's something wrong with me because I don't want to do those things, and that's why I'm... Well, that might be the emotion that you need to actually feel. The fact that you feel that sexually there might be something wrong with you. Does that make sense? That might be the only emotion he's actually transmitting to you, that there is something wrong with you sexually. The truth is, though, you will continue to expand sexually as you grow in your relationship with God continuously. So if you're wanting to remain stagnant, then question it. There's a desire for stagnation. If there's a desire for stagnation, I'm satisfied with what I have, I don't want any more, then there is also a limitation. In other words, you cannot expand infinitely while you have this, in, in, this limitation. So allow yourself to experiment with why you have that limitation placed on yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah. But it would still be then a personal choice when you choose to do that, though, wouldn't it? Of because course, everything's a way of going. But don't use that to justify the fear. No, okay. See, what you're doing at the moment is using that to justify the fear. <coughs> Even if you imagine, just to use your imagination to deal with this issue, because obviously it's quite threatening, initially, feel how you feel. Like if you imagine yourself in those situations or using those things, what's the feeling inside of you? I feel dirty. Yeah, that's what you've got to feel. That's it. Yeah. Can you see, and that's also linked to why you don't want the sex to change at this point, because you might feel dirty. So that's a core emotion from childhood. Gary, I'm just thinking, um, God didn't make these sex toys and they're sort of made by uh, men or women who've got uh, emotions to, to cause them to make them in the first place. So that's why I'm thinking it's sort of unloving by God because he didn't make these. Yeah, I've things. got a good sex toy. <laughs> in my pants, right? And I feel that she has got pretty good sex toys already. And so my personal feeling is I'm pretty happy with that. But 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 my the issue is the fear. And the fear is the issue emotion of feeling dirty. And the emotion of feeling dirty is creating this resistance to 
deepening your sexual relationship, which means that you're resistive to change in your sexual relationship. That's what the man you're with is feeling from you, and that's why he's confronting you with these things. Can you see that? So while in the end you may come to terms and say, oh, no, I love my own sex toys, and, and don't need another, right? You won't be afraid of them, and you certainly want to deepen your relationship rather than, rather than just keep it as it is.